Hi uh, guys, the, after the boss, the game uh, kind of crashed on me. Um, much like you would expect uh, the major flaw in a game driven by lives and no saves to be, uh, I had to replay this entire level. Uh, fortunately, the developer was actually kind enough to quick save at the beginning of every level, but since it crashed during a loading screen, I have no idea what happens after the boss fight. So I started playing through it again, and I remembered, oh, right, the button. I don't have to press it, and now I can actually see what that secret is. It better be worth it, because, to be honest, I've done this so far four times. The entire beginning of this level, and it's getting mighty repetitive. The unfortunate part is, up there is a bunch of enemies. And they're not very easy. So, I'm gonna try and kill as many of them as I can down here. All right, and now we got a rocket jump up here. We only get like basically two chances, and if I fuck up this first one, then the second one becomes that much more difficult because I will not have as much health, and you need the health going up there, so let's try it. Okay, we did it. Because there's like the bomb ones too. It's ridiculous. But that's the only way I can make it up here, so we've done it actually, for a change. I could actually go down there and get the secret, but let's go get the unlock the purple thing first. Actually, we need to keep those. I'm very worried now because it took me so long to get over here. All I can say is that secret better be a secret level like I predicted. Because I'm pretty sure there is one. And let's just go over here. Take this guy out the same way. Just because I know you guys love this part as much as I do. <laughs> I hate these machine things. I can never tell when they're going to do their ground smash thing. And the range of that is ridiculous. Like, it actually makes milling them the best option. Yeah, like, he does it right away. Like, I, I don't really understand why what triggers him to do that. But it worries the hell out of me, because he, he chunks off a lot of health by doing that. Uh, I don't see an obvious way over to the other side there, so... And we already know what's over here. Let's just get those things real quick, just so those blow up. Oh, there's also some ammo here. Yeah, you see, they're just they're just spamming that thing over there, and I'm 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 petrified about it. Okay, it says section one of three complete, um, but in actuality, what that means is I can now do that other thing. Oh, uh, well, now I can't really go down there anymore, but that's okay. So, this should be the secret we unlock. There we go, we got it now. You found a big secret! Okay. That was not what I expected in the slightest, but now you get to kind of see what it is. Alright. Well, that's, um... Disappointing for the only reason that... I... Expected a lot more out of that. Well, let me go kill the boss again, and then we'll, uh... Well, actually, no, I have to go through the entire level again, because all the doors are locked. Great. Or I could rock jump back up there and skip that. No. Okay, so it crashes every single time I try and go from the main campaign to that last level, so... Um, luckily they have a quick play option, I can just go to it directly, so... Uh, unfortunately, it means I can't unlock the, the last difficulty. Uh, I think this is the same thing we saw before. Uh, so yeah, since I can't finish the game, since it crashes, um, I, I guess I just never am gonna get, uh, <laughs> never unlock the other difficulty. Okay.
All right. Oh, let's get going then. Unfortunately, I start with nothing now. Interesting level. Let's just get everything we can. It's just throwing weapons at me at this point. <laughs> and behind door number one. I like how the, the walls say Ori. Oh great, the sniper's there. I feel kind of confined to this little space because if I go out there then the, the guy's gonna railgun me. That's another way of handling it, though. Unfortunately, I didn't get that, that big secret thing that I had b before or earlier. The thing was really nice. Okay, right, I gotta destroy these before I can get the ammunition. I've seen this before. Oh, hello. These guys have a lot of bullets for me. I don't even know if you can call them bullets, they're just projectiles. Alright, well... Most of these methods of getting to the, uh... What, seriously? Oh, okay! <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. So, pick your poison, guys. Do you want to jump over these things and take a bit of damage, or do you want to try to perfectly navigate through these things? I don't think you can navigate through these things. I'm not even going to try. But I could just do this. This is quite possibly the meanest thing. Not the meanest, but you get my drift. Is that even a phrase? Getting my drift? Thank you. Uh. Oh well, I just skipped that. Okay, my bad. Sorry, I was I was I was anxious to use the the doom sphere, but I think the a force field got dropped or something. I totally missed that. That's just insane. That that was really tight quarters and I don't have the rocket launcher with me, so... I was not in the mood today. Oh, there's a nice secret over there. Uh, there's a blue gate there, but I guess I'm gonna come back for that. Okay, so yeah, this 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 is a red force field and it went down, I think. The shavening. See, these are terrible ads, because I don't even know what product that is. In the future, there's only one type of razor. Oh, you see, this one has the Taxi Kul Kulma, and I would totally vote for this guy, but he's uh, he's just a CEO. <laughs> it's nice little pictures, though. Oh, we can now go this way as well, and... Oh, there's a bazooka. Speak of the devil. Now we have rockets. And I'm out of ammo. Probably should just use the sword. Alright, well, we have this way, which doesn't do anything, so we gotta go this way, I suppose, to recycling.
That was mean. It put a fuck. It put a force field out. Okay, I'm starting to get the. I'm starting to catch the theme of this level, which is just traps and traps. So uh, we ha we must be vigilant. This is a trap. Aha! I had nothing. Nothing happened. All right. Oh, that opened. Okay. Now, now I'm just suspicious of everything. Let's get some more ammo out. So this this guy is so large that he can't even leave this room. That's a real shame for him. Oh, why? Thank you. Oh. Ah. Uh, okay. Thank you. I'm not a big fan of the spikes. <laughs> I jinxed it. Oh, I've uh... Really? I have to face him now. Well, I'm gonna do it over here. Extra life, there we go. Not so bad. So he's the exact same thing, it's just, uh... Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, that's yeah, not. Uh, these, they're fucking hell. What did I touch? I think I, I think I touched the. I went into the, the the grinder by accident, and it puts me all the way back. So I got to do all of that all over again. The game really could be better with these checkpoints. Because I can't, I can't even set my own. I just have to let the game decide where to put me back. So, through that maze of of red mines, I got to do that all over again. All right, I'm back here. Oh, didn't decide not to do that again. Okay. Hello, and that, those are the exploding ones. So I probably shouldn't have been doing that. Kind of lacking in the health department at the moment. Well then. Can I go back down? I can. The flat the flashing red does not make does not help my situation right now. Let's go see if we can find another health pack like over here. And there's another one over there, luckily. I, I have a feeling that the place I went into there was not, uh, uh it was completely optional. Um, I, I didn't really gather that, to be honest. I, I didn't check behind me to see if the force field had unlocked. But, you know, whatever. Well, I think, uh, this is the, yeah, this is the place that opens. Oh, right, that other door was my starting door. Okay, I think it was just following me nonstop. That's a trap. Oh. Well then. Hey, it's a robot. Okay. <laughs> Searching for hidden treasure or something. That's kind of funny. His one weakness is uh, constantly uh, 
the it can only be uh, penetrated by force called. Tele okay, so I'm guessing that's what my sword is now. Uh. Oh, that did it. Okay, that's what I assumed that was. I have to sword this thing to death. What are you doing? What the hell? Oh, that's fun. It insta kill death laser. What's even the point of having health if it's just useless? Oh, great, all the spikes are now on the floor. Uh, I, I guess that was my opportunity to go and uh, grab some health, but... Or no. Uh, now I have the option of doing it. I have to melee him to death. Great. You know, I'm I'm not fighting this. This isn't really fun. Like this this boss. This bot I'm I have to melee it to death. It has some insta kill late. I'm not gonna figure this out, I'm sorry. I've I've had enough. Um, whatever, it's just, it, uh, that, that particular part just, just irks me, how I have to melee it to death. Forget it. Um, whatever, let's do credits. So, what do I think of this game? You know, I, I kind of like it. it it's kind of surprising to me, it took a little bit of a different direction since the early access. Uh, I really... I really didn't really like the, the the life system, how that became like the core of, of the harder difficulties. And I would I would say this is much closer to something like uh, uh, like Mega Man basically uh, than it would be to to be honest, I don't really like I, I never really liked or played that well okay, I did play some of the Mega Man games, but I could never beat them basically because there's a there's a whole lot of like pattern based stuff uh, to that. And, yeah, it's it's less like, I like the old school shooters. Uh, I know in my other video, uh, when I did the early access, when I did coverage on that, or I, I don't really do coverage of anything, I'm just, I do Let's Plays. Um, when I, when I originally did that, I made a lot of uh, references to Doom with it, and, you know, it's because it was like projectile dodging and stuff like that. And I remember that, I think the dev put up a, a blog post, I think he saw what I was saying, and then he said, Oh no, it's not Doom, it's not a Doom clone, it's not like Doom at all. And I, I didn't really mean that, like, I was kind of just like, oh, okay. I, I didn't want to make a reference to Doom again in this one, because I, I think it irked him when I said that, and I, I didn't I didn't mean that. I, I, I kind of just, for some reason, I think it was because the guy was, he developed the engine for... Oh, uh, he did. He did that engine that 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 we, me and uh, Wiki Doing Can did for like uh, S Skull Tag. That's right. He did. He did some of that for um, for Doom. And so I'm like, that, I don't know. That was in my head the whole time. And so I kept saying that, and I didn't really kind of mean it to come out quite like it did in that original one. Yeah. So now that the game's actually out, like, I like it except for the bosses and the, the life system. Basically, the the fast paced. Uh, old school shooter aspect of it is excellent. I would say that the game lacks a little bit of variety in the weapons. That would be one of the criticisms for actually the shooter part. And that, that, that's basically it. Like I, the secrets were pretty really creative. The level design was was fairly good. I didn't really have much complaints about that. Uh, it's just mostly the irritation came when I had to face the bosses. Like the bosses were really fucking random. I have to say that. Like um, the first one I did, the one with the missiles. I had huge difficulty with, and the two after that I had almost no difficulty with. Or maybe it was just the one after it. But the Oculus one uh, was the first time I, I did that boss, and 
I mean, I figured out the pattern in about three lives, uh, and so that one wasn't so bad. Uh, I figured out how to do that one. And then and we got to the end there, and now, and that one was just like, I'm not, I don't want to melee it to death when it has some insta-kill bullshit going on. I'm sorry, that's too much for me. I, I mean, I, I'm sure I could tone on the difficulty, although I don't know if the difficulty, like, Here's the thing, I don't have much problems with the difficulty in the actual shooter part. I have the problems with the difficulty when it comes to the bosses. And so I think those are not exactly scaled the best. Uh, and the game isn't exactly right right in its current state, like, glitch-free. As I said, I can't even load that level without going to it directly. It's just, I, I, I don't really know what to do <laughs> with regards to that. Overall, though... It's still really good. A lot of good work was put into this. The art style is fantastic. The shooter parts are fantastic. The Mega Man-esque bosses are not my thing. And I'm, I'm not completely sure about why those are there. And like the platforming segments. Cause you know, I guess you have the precision platforming of like Mega Man. Like it's, it, this is a real big niche. I mean, the game didn't go this crazy with the platforming in the early access one with like, the insta death stuff as much but you know when it's when it's optional i don't mind it like you know i remember i remember i was trying to get a couple of secrets and i'm like sometimes the secrets went okay that's a little bit too crazy for me basically and then it kind of went devolved into really crazy platforming-esque kind of stuff so uh, this this game i think appeals to somebody who really is into both the Mega Man style. I, I, okay, listen, I'm, I'm calling it Mega Man style, but uh, that's the that's the, that's the only thing I know of. Like like basically pattern recognition bosses kind of a thing, and being really good at dodging that kind of stuff, and also the old school shooter stuff. So it is, as I said, it is a bit of a niche, uh, which is a bit odd because I, I I think that maybe the game should have stuck to just being a good old school shooter, but you know, for me personally, uh, I'm not much into. The, the Mega Man bosses and fuck I said it again but whatever it's the only thing that comes to my mind sorry I'm not I'm not really into like the the boss pattern stuff and 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 the, just the the pl I like I kind of like the pl like you know I think I'd like the platforming better if I if they had better saves and checkpoints for that stuff because the checkpoints are really are really quite bad like because when you have to depend upon the life system although I guess once again if I wanted that I could just play on the easier difficulty so I, I can't really blame the game necessarily for that as I said, I still, I still liked it, and I, I guess, you know what, it's $15, and you, you know what, it's not just all about the main campaign here. There's a whole lot of stuff on the early, uh, well not, sorry, I was gonna say early, the Steam Workshop, so you can subscribe to some maps and mods, and so I think for that alone, the game is definitely worth it, just to see what other people come out with, because the game itself is not terribly long, like it's about, I think, seven levels, I don't know if you even count the tutorial, and it's got like five weapons in total. I think the the weapons definitely could have drawn some, like you could have had a couple more and you could have drawn some inspiration. Like I, I like pointing back to like Unreal Tournament cause they have like, you know, the link gun, which is like your beam weapon. I, I'm sorry, I don't really call the, the sniper rifle, uh, the, well, they, they don't really have a sniper in this game, like a rail gun. The enemies get one, you do not. Uh, the pistol combo uh, finisher, I don't count that as a sniper weapon. It's really weak, the, the couple times I did use it in, Actually, the, the combo finishers, period, should have probably been more powerful. Um, you don't really get to use them a whole lot. There was no, they felt kind of honestly a little bit weak. Uh, like I would use the shotgun finisher on one of the big robots and it wouldn't, it would not finish them. It's not like you could unbalance it and like use it against the boss because it, it, you're never, you never have it around the bosses. So I think they should have maybe just been over the top, uh, kind of ridiculous powerful, but you know, that's just me, as I said. Um, as I said, I did like the game. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you thought of the game in the, the comments, and uh, I guess we're done with this game. So take care, everyone. See you later. Bye.